All right, good morning. Welcome back to another video here at the Aspen. It's been a little while since we, sh we showed you guys what's been happening here in the progress. So there's a lot of stuff that's been happening. I hear a lot of commotion around because they're doing like power washing on the buildings to do the paint prep and everything. So we're here obviously in front of the office and they haven't removed this awning because we're waiting for, for the, the gazebo to be built and the stamped concrete um, out here. So that's in, in, in process. Hopefully we can get that going next week. Uh, but anyway, let's go in the office and check out what's been happening. So hopefully most of this should be done and they're, they have it primed and ready to paint and they're supposed to be installing stairs today. So let's go check out what's been happening in here. So as you can see, they trimmed out everything in here and there's a big echo in here because there's no furniture. Um, so we have all of our paint ready to, to paint. So yesterday or a couple days ago, they uh, primed everything. Um, we, are, we do have our new windows here. Obviously they taped it off for painting. They're waiting on um, doors here for the, the stamped concrete just to make sure they have the right level. Um, everything else, we have our new two, two big windows for the manager's offices. Um, we do have our new windows here as well. So yeah, everything got primed yesterday. So we got, we have new uh, baseboards. And if we come over here, we got our new doors in the other day as well. And then, so in here will be our, our fire room and, and closet space. Very large and spacious in here. So plenty of room for, for our lateral files. We'll probably have one lateral file here and another lateral file here, and then probably some storage shelving right there. So that'll be nice. And then in here in our bathroom, we don't have lighting in here yet, but yeah, they capped off uh, some of the plumbing, got this all squared away. We'll have our vanity here, um, all ADA compliant. And then this is our, our new storage closet. And we're gonna have um, shelving in here to be able to store cleaning supplies for our housekeeper and and a variety of other supplies here in the bathroom as well. So that's a nice addition. And you guys probably noticed that we currently do not have any stairs right here. So we don't have any stairs right here because this is supposed to be going in um, today. Since we don't have stairs going up to the second floor, the contractors have put up a ladder. So we have to climb the ladder to get upstairs. Not the safest, but... I mean, it's fine. Practice good safety. Film all. should be having um, all the electrical trim out and everything come back and finish that out. And then on Monday, uh, flooring should be started um, in here as well. So yeah, a lot of good progress in here. This looks a lot nicer without all the, the crazy stuff that was going on back here with the, the old AT&T telephone box and everything like that. So yeah, this will be a nice little like area for, for our residents and then um, yeah, it looks so much better. So much better. So yeah, really good in here in the office. We can't wait to get back in here. Um, all the, the staff are, are patiently waiting and we haven't, we've not allowed them to look in here in the office. So it'll be a nice surprise uh, for them when they are able to get back in here. And Melissa's actually scheduling the, the furniture from Wayfair to be delivered um, sometime next week, probably Thursday or Friday next week so they can come install. Um, everything in here. So yeah. All right, let's go outside and take a look at what else has been happening. Yeah, so you can see here's our our new windows on the outside and then they trimmed it out and we'll, we'll paint this as well on the outside. Uh, Melissa figured out a color scheme and then yeah, waiting for the, the entry gazebo to be built. 
but for the most part I think except for the there's probably a handful maybe two or three buildings that's remaining to be be done on the staircases but all of our staircases around the property are pretty much done um, and then I'll kind of show you what they've done around here on the the side as well so all of the all of the carpentry pick and pull all the the stucco repair on the side so they've repaired some of the, the stucco on here all around the property and then now they've primed and caulked and everything like that um, the PPG rep did come out with uh, Garden Constructions project manager the other day uh, there's a few minor things that they had to touch up on on stuff uh, especially on the the walkways and other than that they are good to give them the approval to start painting so hopefully painting will start probably mid next week and yeah if we come back over here yeah so here's one of the staircases that are still still missing so there's a yeah around the property there's a handful So what they're doing today and over the next few days is they're doing our basketball court rehab project. So what we're going to do is they're, they're obviously right now kind of sanding down the existing paint lines. They're going to, they're filling in all the cracks uh, with concrete and mortar. And also uh, probably next week when they're finished with this project, they're going to come back and repaint all the lines uh, to be actual basketball court. So it'll, this will look really, really nice when that's done. And kind of over here while we're, we're in this area, uh, Melissa did order a new basketball net and poles uh, that our landscaping company is going to go ahead and install once they come in. So yeah, because you can see this, this basketball or this volleyball court net is not in best shape and the, the poles are not really secure in the ground. So we'll, we'll get new ones in here. That way this amenity will, will look really nice and of course, we're gonna clean up the edges with the, the weeds and stuff like that. So get that in a little bit better shape. And our irrigation project kind of hit a little bit of a, a stall because they didn't want to be here when they were also doing a lot of the stair projects. Um, yeah, you can hear the, the guys power washing right now. They didn't want to do a lot of the, the work with the irrigation while the stairs were being installed because the, the trucks and the other construction crew were kind of be on top of them. So they're, they waited for a little bit and now um, they're going to come back and redo everything. For the most part, this section up front um, is already completed. They're just waiting to get it more or less finalized and tested. And then what they're going to come do is uh, do a hydro mulching project. That way we can start growing grass in this whole front area and make it look a lot nicer, kind of starting from front to back. And yeah, you can tell all of our, our concrete work has been done as well. Yeah, all new staircases look great. And what they started doing here uh, this week was build our outdoor gazebo and outdoor cooking area. So this is a really nice and huge outdoor gazebo. It, it's actually bigger than I expected it to be. Uh, but from, from what I can see now in person, it's the right size. It, it really brings this property and, and creates a really nice kind of focal point right next to the pool. So basketball court, our outdoor gazebo, and then they're going to build in some grills. Really nice um, addition here. It really just like makes the property pop. So they're not quite done yet. Obviously, they're, they're putting the roofs on today. Um, I think they're waiting for a little bit more material to come. Obviously, lumber is crazy pricing right now. So I can only imagine how much how much all these uh, this lumber cost. So also what we're going to be doing here is the pool project. We have the we have the cover off the pool now so that's why we have this secured and locked. Um, one company, one pool company is going to start on this likely next week. They were supposed to start this week um, but they got held up from some of their other projects due to the weather and things like that. So. They're gonna start on this likely next week. I uh, do need to follow up with them on that. And then for our pools on the other side, um, another company is going to be handling uh, those two pools. Kind of decided to split them up because we want to get this project going. Uh, just was too much for one company to do, so we split up the, the project. And so hopefully we'll get this, this pool 
running uh, by Labor Day or my Memorial Day. Labor Day would be way too late. So let's go check out the, the clubhouse, see what they've done here. So yeah, there, here's another staircase that they're waiting on um, because this is the one that's going to be, they're going to change the, the positioning of it. Instead of coming out here, they're going to be coming out this way onto this concrete pad here. So yeah. All right, let's go check it out. So demo for the most part has been done and sheetrock has been done in here. They also added this nice huge window. This window is going to be amazing because this is kind of like a, an extra bonus room where people can come in here, do their, their workouts. Uh, so they're going to come demo this and or come um, finish out and float and tape this here shortly, hopefully. And then we have, we have these new windows installed as well the other day. So that's pretty nice. New windows installed. And then what we're gonna do is close off these doors. So they've already framed this out and close it off. So yeah, really nice looking out onto the pool. We'll have our equipment right here. So yeah, really nice. They also replaced the glass upstairs already. Um, so yeah, looks, looks pretty good. Got a lot, of, a lot of projects underway. So really nice. And then in the bathrooms, yeah, they have all the, the sheetrock in here completed as well. They got the plumbing capped off in here. And they also got this, this old sauna room drywalled uh, installed. So that's, that's good. All right, so we're here at our pet park that was installed about a week, week and a half ago. Um, so yeah, they installed all the, the fence here. It's, it's a really nice location for it. We were all talking about that, and, and this is the, the perfect location uh, for our park. So, what we're also installed, or what I also installed the other day, was that sign over there, the pet park rule sign, this uh, pet parking like leash holder uh, deal here, the fire hydrant. Uh, we are going to get um, a few more. Um, we're going to get a bench, a dogway station right there, and then also a trash can, a big trash can right there. And so this would be a nice big area. And then we're gonna move uh, this pest weight station over there in that corner. So yeah, it'll be a, a really nice addition and, and people really enjoyed using this so far. So yeah, really good. All right, so we came over here to our phase two section and just wanted to show you guys this. This gazebo is not quite as big as the other one over there. Uh, it doesn't have an actual roof, but what we're gonna do here is this actually makes it look really, really nice right here you're looking down the way and you got the pool right there and what we're gonna do over here is go ahead and and set uh, two black grills one of those stick grills like the park style grills over here one right here and then another one on on this side it's all the grill right there and then we did order a uh, picnic table a six foot picnic table that will go right underneath that way people will have a nice little outdoor area to, <clears throat> to grill and cook and kind of enjoy the outdoor weather uh, over the summer. So yeah, and then yeah, this side, the pool, they're gonna, they're gonna start testing and, and working on that, getting that uh, back up to, um, to code and, and everything. So we'll probably have to replaster and everything like that. So um, get that going over there. Um, the other thing that we did work on the other day is our maintenance shop is over here on, on phase two, building, building A. Um, we worked on getting it all organized because they had all their stuff kind of in a, a prior vacant unit. We moved all that stuff over there. We rented a truck, got all that stuff moved over here on last Friday, we organized all the maintenance shop. So that was a big project in itself. It took pretty much all day, but now our maintenance staff should be a lot more efficient. They know where everything is. Everything is labeled on shelves, you know, exactly Know, different sections here's plumbing here's kitchen here's electrical here's uh, ac stuff so hopefully that'll make them a little bit more efficient make them a little bit more efficient as to ordering supplies as well that way they know what they have and don't have so they're just not ordering stuff unnecessarily all right so we came over to the other building over here in phase two so what they went ahead and did over here is they busted up the prior concrete slab and then poured a new one here 
Um, well, we, we decided to do that because we're also going to be building the same exact pergola on this side as in building A. So this, um, this concrete slab was in pretty poor shape. Um, and fortunately, we did have additional budget in our original scope um, that they didn't use yet. So we took some of that budget on the other concrete uh, work and put it basically over here. So this uh, was not an additional cost. It was just included as part of their uh, original scope. So that was nice. Um, they're letting this dry fully before they are going to come and build uh, this gazebo over here. Actually, they're probably going to finish the, the main big gazebo um, over on phase one first um, and then come and build build this guy and then again um, here you know same thing we're we're just going to continue doing our irrigation projects so they are on this on the entire property there is existing irrigation uh, so they the prior owners they just never turned it on I guess as you can tell they didn't care about how the property looked and how you know the the grass never grew or ne they just turned off all the irrigation. So we're gonna get those repaired and turn back on, uh, but we're gonna do those in phase. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys right here is all the, the bollards. Uh, so the reason why we decided that we needed these bollards is to prevent traffic from coming through and just zipping through our parking lots because a lot of people just decided to come through here from from this section or from a, a really popular restaurant over there, zip through here, uh, use this basically as a shortcut. And also a lot of people just from the community uh, will see that we have dumpsters over here and they'll just come over here and dump their trash and take off because, you know, it was a convenient place to put it and it's, they feel like it's back behind the property by the fence um, and, and it won't really affect anything. So that's why we decided to, to put these ballers up. Uh, it's one of those things that you know, was it necessary? Yes, according to Melissa, it was ne very necessary. Um, and, and it does help a lot. And, and as you can see, we've been walking around, uh, it's been about three or four weeks since we've had these, and our trash situation has definitely decreased a lot. Um, now we don't have uh, outside people dumping trash. Now it's just, you know, a few mattresses here and there from, from move outs or residents. Um, so it's not, not a major issue anymore, so. Um, definitely been a huge help so yeah it's it's nice and, and over here kind of um, our lead maintenance over here she sometimes comes over here at night just to, to check things out and, and make sure and, and she definitely has reported back that it's a lot more quieter here a lot less kind of random things going on um, so yeah you know trying to improve the property one one bit at a time it just takes takes this process um, so I think people will really appreciate uh, what we're, we're doing here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what, what's been going on. Um, kind of what we just have to keep focused on is, is leasing, uh, rental rates, and, and actually um, the, the office staff, the manager here, Mallory, she's been doing a really good job pushing rents. Um, she actually decided upon herself to go ahead and raise rent on new move-in um, on an upgraded unit. Uh, we had told her this is was our, our set pricing. It was, I believe it was six forty nine, and so she walked the unit, or they walked the unit, and decided, hey, we can probably lease this for a little bit more. So she pushed it. She pushed it to six seventy nine, uh, thirty dollars more than, than what we had told her, um, and actually more than what we had budgeted pro forma. So we're gonna go ahead and just raise all those uh, upgraded units to that price and see how many bites we get. And yeah, it'll be really good. Um, we are definitely getting on the renewals. Uh, that's what we've been working on all of this last week. All of this last week basically is Melissa and I in front of a computer, getting a lot of our, our operations manual and policies, procedures, getting all that kind of tightened up, um, getting some documentation, standardized documentation for everybody to use, setting up the renewal formulas, uh, things of that nature, kind of making sure everything's running smoothly. Uh, not just here, but across uh, our entire portfolio. So getting doing a lot of the, the work up front, we've been working 13, 14 hours a day this, this whole week, basically. Um, but do the work now, and then it'll run a lot smoother going forward. So thank you for, for watching, and hope you guys have a good one.